What's up guys, my name is JellyCut5 and welcome back to the episode of the Creator Club Karima. But before we get into things, we would much appreciate you able to hit that like button down below, give myself some subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video and in terms of all my socials, they're all linked down below so you can keep up to date with everything going on with my channel. We start the episode with a simulation in the Emirates FA Cup, obviously we had a bit of a um, hindrance against QPR where we actually had to go to a replay and we won on penalties in the end. This time round we faced Barnsley away from home, then Ellis Sims got on the score sheet twice to be able to steal a victory to be able to proceed to the next round of the FA Cup. Very happy that we're through to the next round, but we've got a massive game ahead of us. We literally just played them, obviously, at home also. This time we faced them away at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium then, and this is the lineup then. Valisev in goal as Indica and Scher's partner, Alvarez on the right, Medina on the left, Medri and De Jong in the middle with a fifth just in front as Louis Brown on the left-hand side, Nico Gonzalez on the right-hand side, and Luka Jovic up top. A few changes in the lineup because we have a big game against Manchester United in a few days' time, so we need to prepare for that also. So that is the reason for the changes in terms of our fifth, Medri and Louis Brown barry coming in the home tie against Tottenham Hotspur was very good to be honest and we're expecting some good things here away from home but Tottenham seems to start the game strong here. Solomon tries to bring on, get on the left hand side. Schurz tries to intercept it but he's just not that successful there. Beto picks it up in the box. A decent chance for him as he gets the shot off but Indica makes a very very good block then but a very good start for Tottenham Hotspur and they just maintained a lot of possession early on in these first 10 minutes or so. Really really hard to get the ball off him and it's been really really hard to be able to just get on the ball ourselves. Diaz picks it up in the middle of the park as he looks trying to offload it to one of his teammates. Almeida picks it up as he finds Beto in the Lovely bit of space. Luckily for ourselves, Valizev is quick on his toes and he's able to come straight out to that one as we look to try and see if we can go on some sort of counter-attack ourselves. But we are stopped in the tracks then, as you can see, and it goes out for a throw. But we yet to have a chance in this first half as we look to try and see if we can create one for ourselves. De Jong picks it up in the middle of the park, but he just loses it straight away. Then a Chuck away as he picks it up on the right-hand side, looking to play Diaz in. And look at Beto! And he makes a very, very good save, Valizev then, putting it out for a corner kick as Tottenham Hotspur look to play it short from the corner. They do exactly that. Chuck away as he picks it up as Louis Barry tries to see if he can retrieve the ball. As they play it into the box, Almeida onto Araja. Araja gets the ball intercepted by Scherz. We look to go on the counter attack ourselves. Louis Barry driving on the left hand side, looking to try and see if he can create a bit of space between himself and the defenders. And look at him go. The afterburners go, and he is gone. Louis Barry in on goal, and he has got the first goal as he breaks the deadlock here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to make it 1 0 just inside 19 minutes. Wouldn't say it's deserved whatsoever, as that's probably our first chance in the tie, but we'll definitely take it. That has to be said as we look to try and see if we can claim all three points on the road against Tottenham Hotspur. It's very much been a game where Tottenham have had chances and it just hasn't taken them whatsoever. And you definitely get punished in the big leagues when you don't take your chances. And that's what Louis Barry's exactly done. Decent finish as he ran on the left-hand side. And he just used his pace to be able to beat the defenders. And it is now 1-0. So we look to try and see if we can carry the momentum from the first goal as we try and retrieve the ball off of Rico Lewis. And Louis Barry gets stuck in there as he finds a fifth. A fifth onto Luka Jovic there as Louis Barry makes a run and dink over the top finds Louis Barry. He's in space. He's in on goal. Surely it can't be two. And it definitely is. Louis Barry's got the second goal. He's got his second for him and a second for his side. Brilliant stuff there from Louis Barry as he celebrates in front of the travelling supporters. Lovely jo job and that is exactly what you want from your attackers. He hasn't really had the best of season so far but he's come in after replacing Alexis Vega asked me to try and rest him for the next game and he is doing a perfect job so far. Luka Jovic found him in a decent bit of space on side at the same time and he belts it on his left foot. Keep having absolutely no chance with that one whatsoever and Louis Barry's got a second for his side. Really, really happy to get him on the score sheet once again and we are cruising in in this tie as we continue on then the 30th minute mark reaches the fifth puts the ball into the box Luka Jovic picks it up as he just tries to find his team at Alvarez but unfortunately a loose ball finds Solomon Solomon tries to get the ball forward then as Alvarez makes a decent interception Barry into the box he finds the fifth Nico Gonzalez with the shots but it will go out for a corner kick so we look to try and see if we can convert from the corner but we can't unfortunately as the game continues 37 minutes into the game as Alvarez picks up a lovely ball on the right hand side using his pace to drive on the right hand side blue shirts offering support also Luka Jovic offering support as the ball is whipped in and Luka Jovic is the man to get on the end of it as he makes it 3-0 inside 38 minutes to completely make an overhaul against Tottenham Hotspur. Brilliant stuff from Luka Jovic as he gets the first goal for his side in this game. A lovely header season, beat the keeper with absolute ease and that should be a game set a match to be honest as we get our third goal in this first half. 
since that first, we've really, really carried some momentum and we've really, really pushed on. Alvarez just floats the ball into the box and picks out Luka Jovic perfectly. Araujo did not look in any sort of contention of winning the ball whatsoever as Jovic placed himself in the perfect place. And it is a brilliantly headed goal as we go into the second half now. 55 minutes being played in the second half as we clear our lines. Only as far as Calvin Livitz, but as you can see, Nika Gonzalez picks up the ball. And for whatever reason, that is not a foul. That Solomon continues then as he plays on as the referee hasn't blown a whistle, but Alvarez does make an interception there as you can see. And a lovely bit of pass and sees himself in a dangerous position there as Akrivi fifth pushes it forward. On to Luka Jovic he goes as he looks to try and see if he can open his body up for a shot, but he just runs into the box. Really hard angle, but he takes the shot then as you can see, tries to get the rebound also, but it still stays 3 0 with Tottenham Hotspur get a corner kick then as you can see, but that's probably the first decent chance in the second half as they try to convert from the corner as we get it clear then as you can see as far as Louis Barry, he picks it up on the left hand side, making a 1 2 with Quintana who's just come on the pitch then for Medina. Quintana running with it as he puts it on to Louis Barry. He's on for a hat trick here. If only he could convert and he has done exactly that it's Louis Barry for the third and he's got the fourth for his side the third for himself he's taken the match ball home from this tie and the hats off to Louis Barry he's had a phenomenal performance so far a lovely dink on from Quintana there as he just really falls the defenders he thought he just drew in two defenders then allowing Louis Barry to run into the space and it was a lovely goal finessing it past the keeper he's just dived the other way so he's just dinked it the other side knowing that he's not able to save that one whatsoever and it is now 4-0 to JD Cook FC as we continue on in the second half. Tottenham haven't really had any sort of good half in this second, that has to be said. The first half, they performed good. In the second, they've really, really kind of had some sort of downfall about them. But Rico Lewis tries to get something going for themselves as he just runs past so many defenders then. Valazev making a big save in the 72nd minute, though, as we continue on from the corner as they look to play it short. And they've done exactly that. Solomon also took a way there as he skips past Curtis Jones, who just come onto the pitch. Really, really hard to get the ball off him, as you can see. As Solomon picks it up. Decent effort. Valazev with the save as we look to clear Alvarez getting the foot in then very very lucky to clear his lines as the fifth picks it up but that will be full time here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium Louis Barry with three attempts three goals absolutely flawless performance from Louis Barry unbelievable stuff to be able to come into the side such on late notice as he hasn't really been playing as frequent as he would probably like to but I'm very very happy with his performance nevertheless three points four goals here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as we look to bring on the form against Manchester United obviously they thumped us in the EFL Cup so we're looking for some sort of revenge and this is the line up. Valizev in goals and Dika and Scherz partner. Alvarez on the right, Medina on the left. Jones in comes in from Medjury there as Giongi partners. Sudikov comes in for Afif also as Vega comes in for Louis Barron on the left hand side. Gonzalez on the right and Luka Jovic up top. Very strong sides have come against a very top side themselves. But with that being said, let's get into things and see what happens. Looking for a quick start in these first two minutes then as you can see Man United lose the ball in a dangerous position here as De Jong just picks it up and he runs with it. A lovely run from De Jong as he finds himself in such a dangerous position and just like that it's 1-0 then just inside three minutes and Frankie De Jong has got his first goal for his side. It's taken a very very long time. He's assisted many players in his time at JD Cook FC but this time he's got them onto the score sheet and he has grabbed his goal. He intercepted it in a lovely position. I thought he might have squared it to Luka Jovic originally but he belts it on his right foot beating the keeper Andre Onana really really well and we are now 1-0 up in really really good time in this first half as we continue on then 5 minutes into the time Man United look to retaliate straight away then as they look to try and see if they can go on the attack Mohamed Kudos runs on the right hand side looking to trouble Medina there as he turns him and he see you later Medina as Kudos runs into the box and then Dika has committed a foul and that will be a penalty kick for whatever reason I'm not actually too sure and we are yet to get a close up so we're actually going to see if it actually was a penalty and Dika actually approaches the ball and I actually don't really see an impediment in that one whatsoever but the referee does and that's what matters and it will be a penalty kick then Rasmus Hoyland to step up from the spot to be able to convert and he's done exactly that unfortunately Vanasev did go the right way so he's definitely done his job in some ways but unfortunately just couldn't get that extra mile and save the shot very good well driven penalty into the bottom corner and Rasmus Hoyland has got his side level as it is now 1-1 in this tie both sides scoring early on in this tie so it's only calling for more goals as we continue on 12th minute into the game then as Man United look to continue their form Rasmus Hoyland and the ball as he tries to put it onto the right hand side Mohamed Kudos picks it up as he runs into the gap lovely bit of play kind of getting gang now as Jaden Sancho puts it onto Hoyland but a decent block was made but Sancho finds Hoyland in such an easy space after the interception and that is a simple goal for Rasmus Hoyland to score as he gets two on the score sheet just inside 15 minutes not exactly the most ideal starts to life against Manchester United but we're going to have to pick ourselves up and go again that has to be said we made a very good start but unfortunately Man United have retaliated with two goals straight away in quick succession not really ideal as you say 
Rasmus Hoyland hit it against Ndika. It was in the right position as it fell out to Sancho. And Sancho just had a simple pass to be able to hit to him. Very, very easy goal for him to score. And it is now 2-1 to the Red Devils as we get off restarted. And as you can see, 20 minutes into the game. Just trying to see if we can get a goal back in and try and see if we can get straight away as Luka Jovic gets played in by Frankie De Jong. Luka Jovic in a lovely position for 2-2. And it is goal after goal after goal. Really, really good stuff here at the JD Cook Arena as we now see four goals just inside 20 minutes. Really, really big stuff. Definitely from a neutral points perspective. That is a very nice goal from Luka Jovic though. Just runs in, he finds the gap and he beats the defender for pace and he also just hits it on his outfider foot, just making it a little bit harder for the keeper to save. And he's done exactly that as he makes it 2 all then as we continue continue on in the first half and it's literally said goal after goal and we're looking to try and see if we can get a third in his tyres. Alexis Vega plays in Sudikov then as he looks to try and see if he can offload it to Jovic. Lovely over the top of the ball as he finds Luka Jovic in space but Andre Anana makes a very very big save in this first half as we continue on then Sancho picks it up in the middle of the park as he finds Rasmus Hoyne and then 10 minutes left to play in this first half as Man United look to try and see if he can grab a third but Medina the ex-former teammate looks to try and see if he can intercept the ball and he does exactly that and we create some sort of play for ourselves. Luka Jovic in on goal and we have got a third in this tie. 39 minutes being played and it's now five goals in this tie. Unbelievable stuff. Luka Jovic gets his second of the game and hopefully we're able to go in at half time in front. A very nice goal though. Alexis Vega played him in perfectly to be honest. He found the gap. He found the space and he beats the keeper really, really nicely. Andrea Nana conceding three goals in this tie so he's not exactly having the best of games so far as we still it's kept this first half to play and we've literally got two minutes left to play as they get a corner here. They play it short originally playing it onto Kudos then. To Curtis Jones wins the ball but then he loses it straight away as Sancho picks it up trying to retrieve the ball there Per Scherz sticks a foot out and he does well but it only funds back to a red shirt then Sancho back on the ball Scherz gets the ball and for whatever reason the, the referee might as well have a red shirt on right now another free kick for whatever reason I'm not too sure I don't actually see the foul whatsoever but Valverde's got a chance to pump it into the box and he's done exactly that Vanizev rushes out and what is he doing because Jadon Sancho has headed it into an empty net and it is now free all just before the half time whistle is being blown it is literally just goal after goal but I, I don't know what Vanisev is doing in that situation yes it shouldn't have been a free kick whatsoever but it's pumped into the box Vanisev completely mistimes the ball he actually gets the player and yeah that is not what you want to be seeing from your goalkeeper as it now turns free or win this tie as we now go into the second half hoping for better things in terms of a de defensive point perspective because we've been really really poor, we've been literally conceding goals left, right and centre recently, not exactly what we, what we really need as we continue while Mohamed Kudos picks up the ball and what a bit of skill this is, he finds himself in such a big space and he puts it onto Rasmus Hoyland who thumps it into the back of the net and it is now 4-3 to Manchester United inside 50 minutes 5 minutes into the second half, they find themselves in a lovely bit of position here, Mohamed Kudos I mean take a bow son to be honest because that bit of skill was just unbelievable, the the way he was able to ball roll past Medina and he'd find himself in a lovely bit of space so just to offload it to Rasmus Hoyland and he has now completed his hat trick is now Man United looking to go and see if they can search for a fifth goal here and they're looking to look to be able to do it Mohamed Kudos bringing out all sorts of skills here as he finds himself in an area and Deke tries to clear it then as it does, does go out for a foot corner kick in the end very very lucky though that has to be said and we're really on the back ropes here as you can see decent delivery needed and they get exactly that but it falls back out to Curtis Jones who clears his lines trying to see if we can offload it on the left hand side but as you can see they pick it up Mahami Kudos on the right hand side looking to try and see if he can do anything on that side he's been really really dangerous Manchester United so far really that sort of point of threat on that wing and he's been the front of everything but Valverde plays Rasmus Hoyland in and talking about threats Rasmus Hoyland has got another goal it's four goals for the youngster I mean I don't know what I can do to stop him to be honest it's goal after goal for Rasmus Hoyland every time he gets on the ball there is no stopping him whatsoever a really decent delivery from Valverde just picked him out perfectly unmarked whatever Indica doing I'm not I'm just don't know to be honest it's really really questionable from our defence so far but that should be game set a match for Manchester United so we look to try and see if we can get one last goal maybe and Nico Gonzalez gets exactly that he's literally poked it past Onana and we've given ourselves a bit of, bit of hope I guess more than anything I would have said game set a match for Manchester United as you can see in the background the fans have pretty much thought that's the case is that the stadium empties out but Nico Gonzalez has given ourselves so sort of high lifeline as we now continue on in this last 10 minutes or so Manchester United looking to put the game to bed as Rasmus Hoyland picks up the ball and as he looks to try and find his teammate Mohamed Kudos he turns past the defenders he finds Rasmus Hoyland and he has got his fifth goal I mean 
There's no stopping the lad. There is no stopping the lad whatsoever. So, so hard to be able to mark him. He plays a 1-2 with Mohamed Kudos so there as he turns Medina. Medina not having the best of games against his former side, that has to be said. And that will be it, that pretty much. Rasmus Hoyland just pumps it into an empty net as Vanisev is not able to get across to it quick enough as he picks up the match ball. And that is the final whistle being blown here at the J.D. Cook Arena. And once again, Man United put many goals past us and they thump us, to be honest. This is really, really embarrassing. But... What can we do? It's, our league form is um, dropping. It's it's the case of it's being very questionable, that is for sure. And it doesn't really get any better from here as we've got a simulation game against Leeds United here at home and we only pick up a point. So another two drop points dropped. So we've lost five points. Yeah, it's, it's not good. It's really, really not good. And we're looking at Manchester City thinking that they are literally just going up and up and up. I think they're about 10 points clear at this point and onwards. It's definitely going to be hard to catch up to Manchester City, but we have a massive tie now in the Champions League. The knockout rounds are here, and the first game is against Atletico Madrid. Then, as we look to try and see if we can get a result away from home, this is the lineup: and Vanessa in goal as Indica and Scherz partner, Alvarez on the right, Medina on the left, Jones and De Jong in the middle with Sudikov just in front with Alexis Vega on the left hand side, Nico Gonzalez on the right hand side, and Luka Jovic up top. Pretty much an unchanged side, but I'm hoping this will get a result against a very, very big team. With that being said, let's see what happens, and hopefully, we can get through to the next round of the Champions League. Here we go then, looking for a quick start then as Kevin Alvarez finds De Jong from the uh, throw-in then. As you can see, Nick Gonzalez just holds it up really nicely, finding Kevin Alvarez on the right-hand side and he just runs with it. Look at the pace on him. He runs and he absolutely cannot be caught up whatsoever. He runs into the box and that is an unlucky shot, but he gets it on the rebound and Kevin Alvarez has got a goal just inside these four minutes then and a brilliant start to life in the Champions League and the knockouts. Obviously, last year we got knocked out straight away in the first round, so I'm hoping to be able to proceed to the next round and I'm hoping to win it, to be honest, but that is a very very long way away. We need to be thinking about this side before we even think about putting a hand on the trophy so far. Kevin Alvarez over a brilliant goal that has to be said. A lovely bit of individual brilliance there as he just really gets lucky with the rebound nevertheless. But we will take it as we find ourselves 1-0 up early on in this tie. Hopefully we can build on this and hopefully we can go even further in front as 10 minutes into the game. Atletico Madrid haven't really done anything so far and Deacon makes a lovely interception there finding De Jong in the middle of the park. He just runs with it momentarily waiting for a blue shirt to run with it but unfortunately just can't hold the ball up long enough to be able to pull it onto one of his teammates. Medina does make an interception now as he finds Alexis Vega on the left-hand side. Medina off his support as he just runs behind Alexis Vega and also Jovic is there. Jovic picks the ball up as he's got a chance to shoot and Luka Jovic makes it 2-0 just inside 13 minutes and we look to be running away with this result already. Luka Jovic beats the Young Old Black really, really nicely there as he finesses it into the bottom corner just from outside the edge of the area and we have made a brilliant start to this knockout round that has to be said. Luka Jovic with a belting finish on his right foot just pumping it into the bottom corner and we are now 2 Tune in ahead then as we look to try and see if we can build on this league and continue on. 26 minutes into the game, Curtis Jones picks it up in the middle of the park as he finds Sudikov. Sudikov finds Vega, then into the box he goes. Alexis Vega! And it's 3 0. I mean, this is an absolute whitewash. I'm glad to see some sort of response against a big side, that has to be said, because that previous performance against Manchester United was definitely not up to scratch. But we look to be able to get a result here as Alexis Vega has just put his side up 3 0 then inside the half an hour mark. A brilliant performance so far, a really nice goal that has to be said at a really, really hard angle at the same time. Just aligns his body to be able to get the curve on it. Don't think Yang Oblak really expected it. And his defenders couldn't get in the way of it either. And we are now freeing it up in this tie. We are going to keep on going. We really, really want to whitewash to make the second round, second leg sorry, a little bit easier. As Wesley Fofana picks it up at the back. Then. And they're just trying to play it out from the back and just be slow about it. Not lose the ball. And just try and see if they can create something then. And it's proving to be really, really difficult for the Atletico team then. And it's really, really shocking to see, to be honest. Because I did not expect this whatsoever. And Frankie Dion makes a lovely interception in the middle of the park. He finds Sudikov then, he just runs with it to be honest, he knows he's got the pace to be able to beat defenders and he just absolutely runs with it, Sudikov here, in on goal, but Jan Oblak makes a very simple save then as he just hits it straight, at, straight down the throat of Oblak and it still stays 3-0, 44 minutes into the tie, near to the end of the first half as they look to try and see if they can create something for the first time here. This is probably the first time I've actually looked dangerous at Letico here as he pumps it into Nicholas Jackson. He just holds it up really nicely in the box then. Looking to try and see if he can offload it to one of his teammates and he does exactly that and it is a decent finish in the end as he does get the shot off and he has got the goal. It's 3-1 then. It's plus two on the stoppage time which is a bit questionable but they will take it nevertheless and they have got a goal back in this tie. So whether it stays 3-1, that one goal might be really, really important and that might just G them up for the second half. You never, never know. Number 18 for Letico Madrid gets very lucky in 
in the end, but he has got a goal for his side, and they've finally broken their own deadlock as it's now 3-1 in this tie. Second half starts, and as Atletico Madrid look to see if they can build on that first goal they scored, Medina makes a lovely interception now on that left-hand side, and he just uses his pace to be able to run left-hand side. He knows the defence are really hard to be able to catch up with him at the same time, because he's got the pace. Medina's in here, and Oblak makes a very big save, though, as it goes out for a corner kick, as he asks his defence where they were, as De Jong steps up for the corner kick, as we look for a decent delivery, pumped into the box. What a delivery that is! And Indica meets it with the header as he thumps the ball back into the net as a celebration. And Evan Indica has got the goal to make it 4-1 as the Atletico defence look completely lost. And that is a simple but effective finish from the corner. Just rises above the defenders to beat them at the same time. His height is just brilliant at the same time. And if you get it on his head, it's pretty much a goal every time. Yang Oblak just looks in despair after he's had an absolute shocking game from himself and the team, to be honest. But that ball just floats perfectly onto Indica. He just rises above it. And Yang Oblak kind of edges himself out and he just doesn't commit to it and I feel that's a problem for him and as you can see Diego Simeone is not happy about that one whatsoever as we reach the half an hour mark in the second half it's 4-1 at the moment so we're coasting we know we've got this game in the hands it's just about seeing the result out in the end as they do make a right left run on left hand side and Dika tries to cover it but it just opens that gap up but Alvarez does make an interception in the end but that will be a corner kick 63 minutes being played as a cream of fifth does come to the pitch there as you can see from the quick substitution and they look to play it short from the corner kick as they try and see if they can get a second in this tie. And they play it short there to Parisi as he looks to try and see if he can put it into the box. Jackson picks it up as a decent effort was made but Valisev makes a very, very comfortable save as it goes out for another corner kick and it looks to be that Ravella, number 17 for Atletico Madrid is going to pump it into the box. Yes, he is. He's going to pump it into the box. Decent delivery needed but Valisev makes another big save. Safe after save from Valizev as they get corner after corner. Another delivery needed as Scherz clears the line. So as you can see, as far as Curtis Jones just thumps it straight out. No hesitation needed as you can see. And we're trying to pick up the ball in the middle of the park. But Atletico win the possession once again. But Kevin Alvarez sticks a foot out as he looks to go on the counter-attack then. Blue shirts offering support as a cream of fifth sticks his hand out to say he's open. And he gets played in perfectly here. He's in on side. He's in on goal. A cream of fifth. And that is a classy finish if you've ever seen one. A cream of fifth comes off the bench to be able to get a goal. And it is now 5-1 in this time and we should be pretty much okay for the second leg with this result. We are now four goals in front. A cream of fifth with a lovely skillful finish and he just kept played in perfectly from Kevin Alvarez. There's no one around him. He's in on goal and that is a perfect finish if you've ever seen one. A cream of fifth getting the fifth goal then as we now still have the second half to play. 73 minutes being played then as Hoisdeck finds his teammate Belaber. He just tries to see if he can play it on the left hand side. He just drags it too wide in my opinion as he puts it onto Parisi in the end. Parisi not knowing what to do and he just whacks it into the box and Deacon clears here. As far as a fifth as he puts it onto his teammate Curtis Jones as Gion picks up the ball. A fifth running with the space and as you can see it's Nico Gonzalez on the right hand side also running into it. Nico Gonzalez in a lovely position here. Surely it can't be six. It can. Surely not. And it is. It's 6-1. I mean what a whitewash against Atletico Madrid. You would never think they're the quality of what you'd actually, you know what they are. But they have completely fallen apart in this fixture. For whatever reason I'm not too sure but Nico Gonzalez will definitely take advantage on that as he gets a sixth in this tie as he hits it on his left foot past the keeper and that will be that full time whistle has been blown here away from home against Atletico Madrid and we have walked away with a five goal advantage into the second leg and we should be pretty much comfortable I'd like to think anyway it's been a very good set game against Atletico Madrid they had the odd chance but Van der was on his toes this game that has to be said there was only to be able to get one goal in the end very, very happy that we were able to be able to get some sort of whitewash against Atletico Madrid because th this was a statement needed to be able to be made to carry on into the future games in the Premier League and the Champions League. And as you can see, the gap is massive. We've only lost one game this whole season, but we've drawn eight to games. And as you can see, in the, t in the terms of teams below us, not even the other teams have drawn that many. Obviously, they've lost many, so they're behind us. But Liverpool have crept upon us now because they are on 53 points, just like ourselves. Arsenal on 49, United on 48. So it's very, very tight in that top five and Man City look like they're cruising away with it but hopefully we can get some results together and hopefully we can catch up to them but that will have to wait for another episode but I hope you guys have enjoyed this one please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers <laughs>